This is a FlexSim simulation model. It comprises of a source, a queue, five processors, a transporter and a sink. What happens is boxes are generated from the source, they arrive in the queue and are taken from the queue to the processor by the transporter and then onwards to the sink. We won't go into the details of how to build the model at the moment, but what we'll do is we'll tidy it up, we'll hide the connectors and we'll show the names and stats so we have a better idea of how the model is running without having to look at the data afterwards. So when we run the model we can see that the transporter picks up the boxes from the queue and heads over to any one of the five processors depending on what the object um, item code is. You can see they're all different colours and you can see a bottleneck beginning to form at the queue and obviously the truck is nowhere near capable of managing all of the boxes in the throughput as is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run an experiment to have a look at running seven different scenarios um, simply adding one truck to each of the scenarios. So we start with one truck and we work the way through to do some tests for seven trucks. The KPI is quite simply what we see at the sink at the end there, which is the number of jobs done. We run 3,600 seconds and 15 replications. When we run the experiment, we can see that there are a whole pile of boxes starting kicking off, green boxes. These are the actual individual experiment runs. Once completed and we have a look at the performance measures, you can see that the first scenario where there was only one truck didn't do as well as the rest of them. It managed about 220 compared to 340 or so that other trucks did. This means that the, we really needed two trucks to, to do this job. Any more than two was a waste. However, FlexZoom is spatially aware, so if we were to try something else by moving the queue further away from the processors to make the trucks travel further, we can redo the experiment to see how many trucks we need then. As you can see, there are completely different results from the experiment this time. Performance gets better through trucks 1, 2, 3 and 4 and peaks out at having 5 trucks in the system. Again, you can see that 6 trucks and 7 trucks are not required. As well as seeing the box plots and the statistical reporting, it also has things like data summary, where you can get a, a view of more detailed information, and also raw data, so each experiment can be reported on individually. These experiments were used to show how location can affect the timings of a model. Um, FlexSim is spatially aware, so moving things around quite literally allows you to check the impact of any changes that you might make. It doesn't just work with location, it can work with any parameter that we talk about, whether it's process times, capacity, or literally any variable that you may want to investigate further.